Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini. This is the Enchanted Planner, as if you didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little cheeky today. Okay, so a couple of things. There is a new freebie, which is this. It's double-sided. You can use it as you see fit. It's got that side and the side it's for the American Thanksgiving. If you are on my email list, it already went out last week. If you didn't receive it and you are on the email list, check your junk. Check those junk folders in Gmail. There is a hidden junk folder that you access by going down the left-hand column and hitting more, and then bam, there's a little hidden secret there. <laughs> it's a junk folder. If you're not on the email list and you would like to be and get that free dashboard, I will leave a link for sign up in the description. Okay, so today we are planning for the last week in October in my dashboard. And originally I had kind of planned on doing like the new Halloween sticker book, but I just used it in my vertical and yeah, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a bitch. Just, <laughs> that was a brutal spread. All right. Tweezers, scissors, um, possibly the whiteout pen. We will need that and that, possibly that. Um, I don't think I'll need anything else. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. It's late in the day. I have to get this out of the way. So I pulled out um, this because, of course, there's just really cute Halloween things in this planner, in this book. So that is what we are going to use because it is the week before Halloween. It's kind of like, you know, if you're having Halloween parties, it'll be here. <laughs> I haven't had a Halloween party in years. I haven't attended one in years either. Sometimes, you know, I, some, I don't know, you just kind of get too old for that crap. Not to say that it wouldn't be fun. But I ran a business and then my life was consumed by pretty much that. <laughs> From there, let me see, when I didn't, when I wasn't really running a physical location for a business, we were in the middle of a freaking let's stop the world. So yeah, I haven't done anything in many, very, very, very long time. Okay, so let's see what we have to work with. There are so many freaking cute things in here. So we are totally pulling this off. And I think I want this. Whatever I don't use can always go back on, right? I want these little leaves because I think they're freaking adorable. Um, we have the little houses and stuff or the pictures. I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. The Halloween tree is also very cute. What does this say? The spooky, spooky season bucket list. That's what that is. And then it's very, very tiny, tiny writing, but it's kind of cute. We might use it. We may not. I gotta try and get it back into its home though. Okay, it's not quite actually in its home. It's close, but it is a no cigar. There we go. Okay, so let's go have a look on the next page that we have. We have some candy. And I've used the other ones, so those aren't really usable. This is kind of cute though, this explosion of Halloween candy. I'm pulling way more stickers than I can probably ever use in this spread. <laughs> But I'm so excited, so excited because it's Halloween, almost time. Then I don't know, I, I was saying this to Di in one of our conversations in the last little bit, um, the trouble coming in is is October, like here, because Thanksgiving's already happened in Canada. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll be doing in October, because October, November, sorry, November is a weird month for me planner wise, because um, I do want some of these beautiful florals. So let's grab some of these guys. Um, because it's too early to do Christmas spreads, but it, um, there's nothing really happening here in October or in November. We have, don't get me wrong. We have, um, Remembrance Day. And sometimes I'll do a spread for that. And sometimes I won't, I'm trying to get as much of this floral on the page as I can and still not impede too much onto my function. Okay, so there we go. Let's, ouch, turn this guy over. I can trim off this little bit up top. Okay, that's probably not useful anywhere, but we'll hang on to it because it might come in handy if I need like just a little, little tiny bit. And we're gonna trim down the center. And come on, come to mama. There we go. Then we're going to get a crocodile. A crocodile. So we can punch out our holes. 
So yeah, November is kind of a weird month. I usually end up doing more autumn spreads in November. Like that's when I'll sometimes pull out some of the wrong, wrong stuff, the wrong, wrong seasonal. I get those sticker books used up. Yeah, so it's just, yeah, it's November's kind of a weird month, man. I really, 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 really love these florals. Like they are probably some of my favorite florals ever, but it's because they're purple and orange. Because <laughs> let's just be honest here. It's me and I love me some purple and orange florals. Kind of saving the clear ones, which I might bring out. But I also want to bring in some of this fun stuff. So let's grab, oops, I'm ripping the candy. Or do we want to go with the leaves? Let's go, let's see. Let's pull in some of these cuties and see where we want to put them. We can put them up here. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of cute. The only thing is, from a thing, because I've got this in the middle and I don't want to cover up anything on that side, um, we have to kind of be a little bit more selective, I think, in where we put this. So maybe we will grab this guy and we will put this kind of down along the side. Let's just stick that a tiny bit before we go getting crazy here in Enchanted Land. Okay, so we got that down. Kind of cute. They're not totally straight though. It's not 100% at the edge of the page for some reason. It didn't. I don't know if it's me or the sticker. Could be either, man. The jury remains out on that. Okay, so let's line it up. There. It's a bit better. I think it's the sticker. It doesn't quite fit well. All right. I really want to get in these cute stuff. And we have these, like, maybe we won't be using the candy. We'll maybe use the bucket instead. But I am going to grab this guy and destick him a tiny bit. And bring this in kind of over here somewhere. Do we want him at the bottom? Maybe. The only thing is, is these are considerably lighter in color. And I'm not really fond of that. But what the heck. I think we're going to grab these cool looking pumpkins too, because they're kind of like freaking awesome. And let's give these a little bit of a, well, first off, let's de-stick them a bit, shall we? And because this way I should be able to layer them over top of our little friends here. I'm trying to decide if I want to bring in washi. And I don't really think I have anything. Well, I might actually. Hang on. Because I just had a thought. Some of my purple washi might work. I don't have thin orange. That would be perfect. But some of this, like, light purple might work. Actually, yeah, that works really well. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to kind of come across the bottom here. Not too tight. I get a little excited sometimes when pulling the washi tight. And then I wonder why my page goes a little wonky. So we're going to take this right across. Ever so gently. Cool. And then we'll grab this the washi kitcher. And do that. Fabulous. And then we'll just cut this tiny little bit off on the end. Now the question begs, do I want to lift up the pumpkins? Or just leave them? You know what? I think I'm gonna just leave it behind, but we do have a little bit of um hangover here. So we'll get rid of that and then it's not so obvious. Perfect, right? Okay, so let's get the washi door out of the way. Back to our regularly scheduled program. I do need some boxes, and I know there's boxes in here. Or do we have purple ones? We do. Not exactly the right purple. How do they look? Well, I think they'll work. It's just literally to write down some stuff. So I think we're just going to grab a vertical box. And we're going to lay this guy, let me get some wax paper here for a second. I'm just going to lay this guy down like right there. So what have you all been up to? Me, not much. I, um, I can't believe we are marching, marching our way through um, to the end of October. It is just crazy to me. 
that we are like approaching like next week is like the 23rd on Monday which is just crazy it's just very crazy to me I'm excited because of course that means that Halloween's a coming I wish Halloween was in the month of October in my planner instead of the month of November but well we'll work with what we got um, do I need anything else? I don't really need anything else, but where we might play around a little bit here is bringing some boxes onto the other side. Let's go ahead, let's go back over here. So I think we're gonna grab this stack of books and we're gonna trim up the white around the stack of books and this cute little pumpkin. Got too much crap attached to my scissors right now. Okay, because we're going to put this right on top of this. Which is cute. I mean, the funny thing is, these are all books with movie titles. And not all of these um, were books adapted for film. But it's okay. It's still very, very cute. Cute! Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get excited by the smallest things. I'm trying to decide if we want to go the candy route or if we want to go this this little thing, which is like super freaking cute. I wonder if this will fit in the center. Shall we test that theory? Well, first off, we need to sort of take some of the sticky off. And I might have to trim it, but we could actually, you know what? It will fit here. So we're going to trim off the bottom. So I can set it on top of the washi. Get the, the tweezers. And let's bring this guy right in there like that. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I have too much fun. Sometimes the, the spreads are like, oh my gosh, the struggle is real. And other times it's like so easy and cute. Okay, what does this say? It says, which is castle poisoned apple orchard, Halloween town, Cinderella pumpkin patch, or ghoul gang meeting house. It's not really the right kind of thing. I was like, oh, can it double as a quote? Not really. But there are some quotes in the back here. I just don't know that many of them equate to Halloween. No, they do not. So we have a couple of options. We have this, my Halloween quotes, which are right here. I'm just here for the candy. That might work. Like right there. Let's see. Where's tweezers and wax paper? Because mine are kind of sticky to you. <laughs> I don't have enough room. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Actually, it's kind of cute, like right there. It's like it was made for it. Okay, so let's take this guy and put him right there. I'm just here for the candy and we'll sticker swish it. It gets all the white out or the air out, not the white. Um, I'm still kind of needing something a little bit here. Which way to the candy is another quote I have on here. So let's grab that guy who does not want to come up because he's in the middle of the thing. But I'm going to put him on wax paper for right now. I do. I just, I spotted, because I made these like stars and stuff on this sheet. So maybe we'll bring in some sparkies. Just to sort of, I don't know, fill it in a bit. Yeah, let's put that right there. Sparklies. Um, let's put some sparklies over here by the house. And I have quite a few sparklies on here. <laughs> and I can always print more if I need to. <laughs> That's the wonderful thing about having your own damn cricket. I can make whatever I want. Um, okay, I think that's it for that. Pretty sure I have another page of Halloween quotes. I just don't have it printed. Okay, so I don't really want two quotes on the same page, but I think we might bring that in somewhere. I don't know. It's cute, right? Okay, so back to our friends in here. 
Okay, do we want to bring in more florals? Always want to bring in more florals because I love the florals. But I'm also kind of liking this downward thing that we've got going on. We just need a little bit more stuff on this side. So this is where we might bring in like maybe a floral. Or is it too much? And it doesn't really fit. It doesn't really fit. Um, we're gonna need boxes or bullet points at some point. I mean, my other option is like, but that fills in the space unless I really back it out. And we haven't really, I mean, I have sort of integrated candy and stuff. I mean, we could also put the bucket on, but that kind of looks weird too. Just the way I've decided, the direction I've decided to go. I mean, I wonder about these guys. Cause they're like super cute we could plunk them kind of like right there although do I want them there they kind of look off balance let's say bring them this way or do we want to just put the quote up there which way the candy it actually fits rather well there question 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 Okay, we're gonna run into a hiccup here in a second because I can't make up my mind on what I want to do. And that might simply mean the probably the best way to proceed is to hang on, let me just get this guy down. Which way the candy, which is awesome. I just want to slip underneath and get rid of said white line. The other one's not too bad because I actually lined up the black banner in the sticker with it so it's not too noticeable. That however is. Okay so let's let that dry. Now I need to figure out this situation and this is where I'm like do we just maybe start adding some of the functional stuff and see how it comes together at that point because honestly sometimes that's the best thing to do. Let's just start pulling in some of the functional stuff. So maybe we'll grab boxes. No, I don't know. It's funny. Sometimes I like boxes. Sometimes I don't. Flatten that out because it's all done. Maybe we'll put, oops, that was not quite what I was after. Let's maybe put, mm, okay, hold on. I have a thought. I have a thought. Let's go for orange, which is all the way over here. Um, well, I don't really have that orange in here, do I? Is that too dark? Kind of, question mark, but we're going to use it anyways, because we're going to put this down here in this corner, and I think this will help bring more of the, yeah, see so if I stick that down there, it kind of, again, fills in the hole, but also fills it in with something that's fairly functional. So let's put this guy down here like so. Excellent. And then I want bullet points and um, why can't I think straight? <laughs> because my mind does not want to think straight today. That's part of the problem. It's having hiccup issues. It's like, in those moments, it's almost like a record skipping. That's what I kind of equate it to. My brain just sort of does the record skipping thing. <laughs> I can't, can't get past that one spot because it's like, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> oh <my God. sighs> That's when you just smile and ignore me, you guys. Or laugh with me because you totally relate. Because I know that there's a number of you who are in um, the same place with menopause. So, you know, birds of a feather and all that jazz. Okay, I want to place that one there. And then we go orange, orange, purple, orange, purple. Don't ask me why my brain could not figure that out without actually having to do my fingers. But actually... I don't know where I want to put this. I mean, you have the box down there too now, right? So orange or purple, orange, purple. So maybe we'll put this one on this side and then let's go get our orange ones. Which are right here. So orange, 
orange. I love these because they're so small. Like tiny bullet points are so my jam. <laughs> I love them. Love them. Okay, so I should have probably done that the other way. Put this one orange and that one purple, but whatever. I don't mind it this way either. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, now we have a box here. I'd like to get another box on. Uh-huh, so sorry about that, you guys. My phone died. <laughs> And I'm like, what was that noise? Oh, wait a minute. That was my phone shutting off. So I gave it a few minutes to charge. I added a few things, like not very much, but, you know, I put in like the box and, you know, some titles and headers and stuff. So we're going to finish this up. I think I've come to the conclusion. We're going to grab a few of these bats and that's what we're going to sneak in here just to help fill this in a little bit. I wish that some of these were, well, this one's facing the other direction. So I guess we'll make this one work on this side. Cute. Actually, we have a little itty bitty guy up here. If I can get him off of the page, we're gonna put that right there. And then that kind of fills in that little hole. And we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna plunk them kind of right up here, like so. And then I think we're done. I do believe we are done. It's cute. I will give it that much. It's cute. All right, so let me find my planner on the, the proper date. And let's get this guy onto the desks. And I have punched everything I need to punch. So, you know, there is that. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And that is a wrap. Um, oh, I was gonna add washi at the top. That was the other thing I was gonna sneak in here and do. So let's do that ah, before we wrap this video up. Cause I thought it would just kind of finish it off and complete it. If we kind of just box, I can't see, I can't see. You just kind of frame it in like so. and then we just have to do the other page and what's nice with the skinny washi is I can line the top and it's not going to get in the way of anything sometimes the wider washies cover they try and cover up the October and I'm not really down for that <laughs> I'm not really down so let's clip that off like so and then I need to decide what to do here. I might be able to lift up. Where's my sticker picker upper thing? I might be able to get this to lift up, which would be the perfect option <laughs> if it'll cooperate. We shall see. I don't want to rip the sticker, but I kind of want to sneak the washi underneath if I can. Just like that. Fabulous. Okay, now let's put it on the discs. And we are good to go. It's cute. It's cute and it's fun. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, sorry my phone died um, in the process, but I live and learn. I, I don't usually worry too much about it because usually my battery on this phone lasts forever, but I guess I've been on the phone too much today. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Ciao.